it's another fresh day that you want us to continue learning. Welcome to uh, Mathematics, and today we are dealing with problems involving area of shapes. Uh, I have selected some questions from uh, KCP papers. I want to begin with uh, KCP 2007, question number 14. It's about combined shapes. A lawn is in the form of a rectangle and two semicircles. The rectangle is 22 meters long and is 6 meters wide. The widths of the rectangle are also the diameters of the semicircles. What is the area of the lawn in square meters? Take pi as 22 over 7. The first step is to draw the sketch and level it, like I have drawn here. So the lawn has the, the width of the rectangle are also the diameters of the semicircles. That's why it looks like a running track. Step number two, calculate the area of the semicircles. Let us begin by writing the formula of finding the area of a semicircle. Yes, I would like somebody to volunteer and give me the formula. Yes, Therese. Very good, Therese. The area of a semicircle, area of a semicircle is denoted by a half times pi times r squared. Now note that there are two identical semicircles and so we multiply by two. And so here now, we are supposed to substitute. We are supposed to substitute. We write half times pi. We've been told to use pi 22 as 22 over 7. So we write there 22 over 7. Remember, boys, don't use anything that you're not told to use. I know there is pi of 3.14, but because the instructions say you use 22 over 7, just use 22 over 7. Radius is not given. Radius is not given. I want somebody to give me the radius. We are given the diameter. What is the radius? Mary? Very good. The radius is 3. How did she get 3? How did she get 3? Alex Obiero. Very good. She divided the diameter by 2 to get 3. And so the radius is 3. Remember, it's 3 squared. So 3 squared is the same as 3 times 3. Remember, not forget that 2. Then we want to simplify by cancelling. 2 by 2 is 1, and 2 by 2 is 1. Now, what are we remaining with, boys and girls? Now we will say area. Remember, I cannot leave this word area behind because I don't want to forget what I am calculating. So area is equals to 22 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 all over 7. Remember, it's square meters. Now, what is 3 multiplied by 3, Clara. Very good, Clara. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. And so we have area. Again, I can't forget that word area is equals to 22 multiplied by 9 all over 7. Okay, Moses, multiply 22 by 9 and give me the answer. Very good. 22 multiplied by 9 is 198. So, area again is equals to 198 divided by 7. Remember, it's square meters. Don't forget the units. Very important. And so, we divide 198 by 7. What is 19 divided by 7? 19 divided by 7. Elaine. Very good. 19 divided by 7 is 2 because of 14. 
So 14 is the closest multiple of 7 that is less than 19. And so we subtract and we have 5 here and we draw that 8. What is 58 divided by 7? What is 58 divided by 7? Kebata. Ryan Kebata. Very good. It is 8 because of 56. 56 is the closest multiple of 7 that is less than 58. And so we subtract and we remain with 2. Boys and girls, the answer here would be area is equals to 28 whole 2 over 7 square meters. That would be the answer of that part. I hope you have followed every step, every part of step number 2. Let's come to step number three. Calculate the area of the rectangle. Calculate the area of the rectangle. Obio, please give me the formula of finding area of a rectangle. Obio, brilliant. So we will say Obio, area of a rectangle is equals to length multiplied by width is that so class correct remember i'm not leaving the word area behind what is the length and what is the width of this rectangle debra very good debra the length is 22 meters and the width is 6 meters very good now what is the product of 22 meters and 6 meters judy wanza very good it is 132 square meters boys and girls that is the area of that rectangle the next step is adding the areas of the semicircles and the rectangle. So we write semi circle. Its area is 28 and 2 over 7 square meters. The rectangle, a rectangle, its area is 130. Two square meters and so we add them boys and girls and we will say area is equal to 160 and 2 over 7 square meters now before you settle or choose the right answer from the choices go through your question did you answer the question that was asked? What is the area of the lawn in mid square meters? Then go through your calculations to confirm that you did the right thing. And then finally settle on the answer as 160 and 2 over 7 square meters. And choose the right answer from the choices. And that is the answer. I hope you have understood. Quickly, let us go to question number 24 of 2007, area of a triangle. The diagram below represents a flower garden. What is the area of this flower garden in square meters? Look at that triangle. Analyze the triangle. What kind of triangle is this, boys and girls? What kind of triangle is this, boys and girls? Yes, Grace. Very good. It is an isosceles triangle because this side is equal to that side. 
look at this is 13 this side measures 13 and that side measures 13 now an isosceles triangle for us to find the area of an isosceles of a triangle you need to know its uh, height and for us to get the height we will draw a perpendicular down there and the perpendicular boys and girls is going to divide the triangle into two halves so this side will measure five meters and that side will measure five meters i hope you understand that and the height will be that one which doesn't have measurements and so boys and girls we have to calculate the height using Pythagoras theorem now Pythagoras theorem the general formula of finding uh, any side of the right angled triangle would be c squared is equals to a squared plus b squared now that we do not want to find c squared boys and girls we want to find a where is a let us draw that triangle the right angled triangle again this is the hypotenuse which is c the base is b and the height is it's a sorry the height is a so what are we finding the height so we will use this formula a squared is equals to c squared minus b squared what is the value of c so a squared the value of c is 13 we square 13 subtract the value of b which is 5 so we square 5 now quickly boys and girls I want you to tell me the square of 13 yes the square of 13 the tama very good 169 and the square of 5 joy correct 25 and so a square is equals to the difference between 169 and 25 somebody be able to tell me yes who is there yes takashi correct 144 boys and girls we do not want the value of a square we want the value of a alone without the square and so we find the square roots the square root of a squared is a what is the square root of 144 144 uh, roy roy correct it is 12 that means a was representing height so the height here is 12 meters the height is 12 meters i hope you understood we now have found the height let us now calculate the area of the triangle the area of the triangle yes mark mumo give me the formula of finding the area of a triangle brilliant mark area of a triangle is equal to a half times base times height area of a triangle remember i'm not going to forget the word area because i got to keep reminding myself what i am finding so it's a half times base we have the base of the whole triangle from here up to there 10 meters then multiply by the height that we got here 12 meters boys and girls we cancel 
we simplify by cancel. Two by two is one. Two by ten by two is five. Boys and girls, somebody as brilliant as you are would already be knowing the answer to that. And what is the answer to this question? Yes, Tyra Banks. 60. Thank you, Tyra. The 60 square meters. Boys and girls, before we go to the choices and get the right choice, get back to the question. Did you really answer what they asked? What is the area of the flower garden in, in meter square? Follow up the, 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 the steps involved. The arithmetic. Check this subtraction. Is it correct? Check the square root. Did you get the right height? Now, did you do the right calculation here to arrive to 60? Then you can go to the choices and get the right answer. Boys and girls, it is obvious that the right answer is B. That is how that question is done. Now, I would like to send you to KCP 2010, question number 12. Please attempt it for me. KCP 2013, question number 27. KCP 2003, question number 24. KCP 2009, question number 43. KCP 2010, question number 38. And question number 32 of the same year. Attempt them. Apart from the questions I've given you, you can find other KCP papers. Thank you. Have a lovely afternoon.